Hey guys, it's Augie, and welcome to my channel for those of you who are new. Today, I'm thinking about giving you guys a tour of my Tokyo apartment. Also, I've been living in this apartment for about a little over a year and nine months now. Uh, actually, this is my first apartment in Japan. Since I'm, I came here, uh, this was my first one, so I've been living here the entire time. I haven't changed, um, and I have a two-year contract, so uh, I'm thinking about renewing this one because I actually really like it, so I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Towards the end of this video, I'm going to give you a breakdown of the cost of the place and also the size so you can get a perspective of what you can expect in uh, Tokyo, uh, apartment-wise. So, what you're about to see in this apartment never existed in the first place. So when I came here and moved into this apartment, there was absolutely nothing. So all I had, all I had was my suitcases, that was it. I had no furniture, no appliances, so I, I bought everything from scratch. And um, to be honest, everything came from Amazon actually, which Amazon is awesome in Japan. Um, so it really helped me out. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So first up, we have the genkan, or the doorway of the apartment, which is probably the uh, dirtiest place of the whole uh, apartment because this is where we all take off our shoes before entering the house. And um, it's, it's not it's not much, it's just, you know, a couple of cabinets. Uh, currently there's not really anything in here, it's pretty, all the drawers are empty, um, but like in this uh, cabinet, for example, I have a bunch of papers from when I signed the contract to my apartment. And uh, in this cabinet is where you probably can't see it, but it's where I keep all my shoes, like dress shoes for when I wear a suit to the office for my normal job, not YouTube. Also, actually, I have a window here which I really like because you can open this up here and have a nice view. And then I have a like a hat placer and like a coat uh, coat hanger. I think this is what it's called. <laughs> also, this is like, I think it's like a mailbox, but I'm not really sure, but I never open it and nobody ever puts anything in here because we have a mailbox downstairs outside the main door. But um, yeah, there's nothing in here. But when I close it, it's really loud. And it echoes throughout the whole hallway. <laughs> so all my neighbors can hear it. But yeah, let's move on to the next room. This next room is the living room slash office slash entertainment uh, room <laughs> where I play all my games on my Xbox and PlayStation 4 and then I also work uh, right over here on my office too with my desk and my computer. And also I have a piano which I play to relieve stress sometimes and it's also nice to play. I, I play piano and guitar and oh yeah there's a drawing of, drawing of Aaron from Attack on Titan that I did. I don't know if you can see it, but I don't know, I did it as a sketch one day. This is my office space. This is where I do my work, and then I also bring my other computer out to edit videos for YouTube. Oh, I also have this figure of One, one Piece Luffy from, I got him from um, a crane game in Japan, oddly enough. That's where I play my Xbox. To be honest, this sofa is not that comfy. I got it for about $150 off of Amazon, and it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, I've had it for almost two years now, and I really want another one. <laughs> Next we have the toilet area, well the bathroom, but technically in Japan this is called the toilet and then the other room is called the bathroom and shower room. Um, but what I really like about this apartment is that the 
bath and sh the bath and the toilet are separated. So a lot of uh, Japanese apartments um, have them combined together, which is something I don't really like. But it's very simple. Just uh, no no fancy bidet or um, electronic toilet seat. Just a regular toilet seat. Although I think uh, I can buy one and hook it up here, and then somehow hook it together. Um, also, I have a nice win a big window <laughs> in my toilet area, and it's got it's actually got a nice view. Next we have the kitchen, which um, actually gets really good sunlight because this apartment is facing south, which is actually highly um, valued in Japan as a nice filter when looking for apartments. You click the button for facing south. Uh, anyway, this apartment faces south, so I get a lot of really good sunlight in here coming in, especially during the afternoon time, which is right now. And uh, also just have a simple, simple, simple kitchen area with um, cabinets up here where I keep my plates, glasses, and uh, bowls, and also seasoning over here, like seasoning, tea, coffee, hot chocolate, any kind of those kind of things. This is what controls the, the hot water in the shower, and you can control it from here as well, with set timers as well. So I just have a simple microwave. It was $60 from Amazon, very cheap. Uh, the sink area is actually pretty nice. The only thing I don't like about this area is that it's really, sh really short uh, for my height. I'm actually 175 centimeters, um, about five foot nine, five foot ten. Um, so this is actually quite short for me. This is like the the gas stove, uh, the gas stove, uh, which has two burners, and um, it also comes with like this thing, which is called a fish grill apparently. But I've actually never used it before. Um, so you can grill fish in here, or you can also toast your bread in here as well. So this didn't come with the apartment, I had to buy this separate. And right here I have my kettle, which I use to boil water for miso soup, or coffee, or tea. And I have my toaster, and then I have a, a Buddha that actually is scented. Also the toaster was like $15, it was really cheap. And then this was only $25, very cheap as well. Oh, this, um, this table wasn't here before either. I had to buy this and it was from Amazon. This is my dining room table, uh, which I got from Amazon as well. This was from Amazon, this was from Amazon, the chairs were from Amazon, and everything here was from Amazon as well. But basically I have my sugar, my salt and pepper, and um, fake plants. And this is where I do all my eating, and sometimes I work Sometimes I work here while I eat too. Like I'll have my laptop and I'll be editing here as well. Also, here's my shelf with, I, I'm a collector of um, kind of cool looking cans and bottles. Moving down here, we have my Lego, my Lego Tokyo that I created uh, when I first got here. And also behind that is uh, my JLPT N1 certificate in that envelope. Moving further down, I have my Buddha, as well as my other Lego. I really like Lego architecture, so I have my Lego architecture down there as well. And then all my novels as well down here. I've actually read all of these novels, and I really like reading, but I kind of run out of time since I moved to Japan, but I hope to get back into it soon. Next we have the bathroom and the shower area. So here's where my shower is. It's very simple, just simple design. And this building is actually 26 years old, so it's kind of old looking, but it still lives up to today as well. It looks really nice. Also, this is where I have my sink and there's, it's old, like 26 years old. So we just have the left for hot and right for cold. Also, uh, please excuse the mess, but this is where I keep my suits because actually 
Um, I don't have much closet space here, to be honest. And um, this is where I have to keep my suits, unfortunately. This is where the laundry, well, this is where the washer is supposed to go, but I actually just use coin laundry because, well, for me personally, it's cheaper every month to do it that way. And this is actually my cardboard box for my piano that I showed earlier, and also my TV. So just in case I want to move, uh, I can put them back in the box and it'll be easier to move. And then my cleaning supplies are here as well. Let's move on to the next place. And next we have my bedroom, which is my favorite place in the room because this is where I get all my sleep. And I also like to watch uh, like Netflix in bed as well. Um, yeah, this mattress is so comfy. Actually, this is probably the most expensive thing in the entire apartment, not gonna lie. Um, but this is where I have all my, well, actually this bed frame is really cool because it has lights. You can turn on like that. You can see it better at nighttime though. And then it has a charger for your phone as well, which I liked about this bed frame. This bed frame and this mattress and the sheets and the pillow and everything is from Amazon as well. And over there I have uh, a picture, uh, a painting of Audrey Hepburn from uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's because it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Also, this room gets the best sunlight in the whole house because it has one, two, uh, three windows in here and I actually have them open all the time right now. This is one of the reasons why I really like this apartment because of the good sunshine. And over here I have my guitar, which I play, and uh, this is actually was really cheap from Book Off, a, a Japanese secondhand store here, a popular one. It usually sells books because it's called Book Off, but the name is deceiving. It also sells other stuff too, it's, as well as guitars. So I got this one for like 50 bucks from Book Off, so really good deal. This is kind of interesting about this apartment is that it has this like side window, it has this like end cave, or I don't know how do you call this, enclave here. Um, where I don't really have anything here, but I guess you could put a TV here But uh, right now I just have my guitar and a lamp behind me and this window is really cool Like it's frosted glass so you can't see outside nobody can see in but it gets really good sunlight here I think this is a nice like design wise a nice addition to this apartment And um, I just pull the shade down when it gets too hot and uh, finally I want to show you my amazing view I have from living on the fourth floor of this building. I want to show you this awesome view outside um, from my balcony, so let's go outside. I'm outside right now on my balcony. Sorry if it's a bit loud because there's a lot of cars driving by right now as it's about midday, but um, yeah, it's really nice outside today and I, I love having this balcony. It's uh, another thing I really like about this apartment. Well guys, that's it for the apartment tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. Just to give you some more details about my apartment, um, it's in located in Tokyo. Well, technically Kanagawa, as I said before, but close enough. And um, the rent per month for this place is 80,000 yen. And that includes the uh, utilities uh, and maintenance fee as well. So without the utilities and maintenance fee, it's 77,000 yen. So the utilities and maintenance fee is another 3,000 yen. So when you come to Japan and maybe if you move here, uh, this is kind of what you can expect from this size of apartment uh, in Tokyo. Speaking of the size of this place, it is a 2DK, which means two dining uh, kitchen. So there is no living room. So it's just a rectangular, my house is a rectangular shape like this. And it has a, you know, the entrance and the office, which is a D, and then the kitchen, which is K, and then my bedroom, which is another D, so it's 2DK. And the total size for this apartment is 39 square meters. Some of the best websites that you can find apartments for in Japan are Sumo, 
and also life homes. Also, this apartment is actually made for two people, although I only live here alone, but you can actually have two people move in here together. So the space is big enough for two people uh, in Japan standards, but it's actually perfect for me. Well, that's it guys. I hope you really enjoyed my video and uh, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.